So let's get to the show. What's going on, guys? Welcome back for more Stupid Games Saturday. Last week, uh, we played... God damn it, what did we play? I believe it was something along the lines of Back to the Future. Yes, that's what it was. Yep, so uh, we're playing Firefighter on the Game Boy. Why? Because why the hell not? This game, oh man, I love this game. Let me tell you how much I love this game. I love this game like I love going to the dentist to get a tooth filled. And I've never had to do that, but thank God, because I wouldn't want to experience this hell twice. Welcome to Firefighter. As you look at your guy who looks like he's been horribly sunburned, which I suppose makes sense, he's in a really hot house. As you travel through this house, you notice that there's walking fire everywhere. Well, that's pretty terrible. You put out the fire with the use of this hose. Now, this ain't no Super Mario Sunshine. The length of your control of this thing goes from up, down, up, down. It's basically like controlling the fire of Kirby Breathes and Kirby's Adventure. But you may think, oh man, that's not too bad. Too bad, like, the only thing you fight is fucking fire, so... I don't know, I suppose that does make sense, though. Alright, little boy, let's go. Yes, this is the goal. We gotta save these little shits from their own stupid idiot selves. I mean, this is the only people we have to save, just babies, I think. I have not seen anyone else yet to save, and every time he presses down, he let go of the little fucker. And you have to press down in order to aim the hose, so... Oh my god, and the fire keeps spawning, man, this is just a big pain in the ass. Get back here, where the hell did you go? No! Get over here! It's... You pick him up with up, and then you put him down with down, which makes sense, because you're like lifting him up, and... Whatever. So yeah, the fire responds constantly. I'm not sure if the goal is to put out all the fire. I'm pretty sure it's just to rescue the guys. Although what I'm guessing is if that meter above the water gets to full, that means the entire house will catch on flames and you will lose a life. You have three lives, I suppose. I don't know. Put out the fire and just keep moving on. I don't know what the hell you do if you run out of water, but at least there's water tokens you can pick up throughout the house. Which give you more water, but whatever. Let's just continue going through and rescue more little boys. Oh my god, fuck you, fire. Fuck you, grandma. Uh, there's some water. Usually it, like, heals you fully. Yeah, you just have to hit up on it. Really strange. Whatever. We'll say, though, this game makes full advantage of the Game Boy's buttons. I mean, all of them. Except for select, probably. Oh, no, there's pause, and what's select do? Select hides the menu. Okay. In case you need to see what's down there? I don't know. What on earth would that possibly do? Whatever. Let's save this little shit. Come on, little kid. Oh, by the way, up there, that is actually an axe. What is that used for? Oh, actually, I haven't figured it out yet. I mean, all I see is fucking fire. So I have no idea what the hell you'd use an axe for. The axe fire? I don't know. Come on, little tyke. We gotta go back out the way we came. That is upstairs. We gotta go down to downstairs. Screw you, fire. Press down to go downstairs, press up to go to the upstairs. I suppose that does make sense. Feels a little bit like Mario Hotel controls, but... Hey, yeah, whoever said Mario Hotel was a bad game, alright? <laughs> a lot of people. Alright, watch out for respawning fire. Just because you put out fire doesn't mean it's not going to respawn. And I don't mean just respawn. I mean you can literally respawn at any time. You'll be walking over all of a sudden, BAM! Fire! That's kind of like real life, although why doesn't this fireman have more protection? Looks like he's barely protected at all. He didn't even have a face mask. This is from the olden days when firefighters had the shittiest job in the world. I don't remember when those times were, but man, they were terrible. Alright, so let's see what this axe is useful for. I don't know. You basically just throw it with B. I figured out you can put it down. So apparently the game's nice with that fact, at least. Pick up some more water. Pick you up for the hell of it. I mean, what on earth? What the fuck is that? Is that a toy soldier? What is he doing there? Can I touch him? Probably not. Yeah, the way he's walking, he definitely doesn't feel like he's rescuable. Is this what the axe is for? I could not tell. Uh, oops, going the wrong way. Oh, wow, well, that is what the axe is for. And apparently, the meter's getting bad, so... Gotta put out some more fire, otherwise the house will burn down or something. I'm guessing that's what happens. Alright, so the axe is for taking care of those idiots. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Well, I just ran out of axes, and there's two more of those guys up there, so I hope hopefully I can find more axes. Oh, man, there's another little kid. Oh, man, I'm guessing water doesn't hurt him at all. Okay, that's just fantastic. I need some axes, then. There's an axe behind it. Oh, wait, no, that's just water. Screw that. Guess I gotta go upstairs and see if I can find an axe. There's what I'm looking for. 
we put this out before one of those guys come running around to spawn me in the back. Grab this. Oh, I threw it too late. Well, I guess I get to respawn, though. When you respawn... Oh my god, there's still water in the house. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, stop picking up the axe. When you respawn, you get to regain all your health. So that is a bonus. However, apparently the fire shit doesn't go away. That's kind of suck ass. It doesn't need to be a reset. At least you don't have to go pick up the little kids again. It's not that unforgiving. Kind of. I also like this guy's face. He just looks so nonchalant putting out these fires. He's like, yeah, I'm putting out fires. What of it? He looks so funny. I don't even know how to describe it. He's just like, yeah, I'm putting out fires. I do it all the time. Even though I just lost one of my fire buddy companion. Well, I guess this is the same guy I'm supposing. He just has multiple lives when he goes in fire. A little strange. Maybe he's like a super fireman. Maybe that's why he's so nonchalant about it. He's like, yeah, you know what? I'm a super fireman. I can't lose. Alright, so I put out that water. There's an axe down there I did leave behind, but I don't believe I'll be needing it. Just yet. Might run back and go regrab it. Just need to start putting out more of these fires so the time limit doesn't screw me over. Because I'm guessing that's the time limit. Oh man. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. Ah, stop walking forward. Okay, I have more health this time, so maybe I can run up and give me that child. Woohoo! Haha, <laughs> sucker. Alright then. Running back downstairs, and we can go deliver this little shit off to where he belongs. In an ambulance, apparently. I don't know what we're really delivering him into, but he needs to get over there. So what kind of family has five kids these days? I guess there are some families that do. But still, that's a little weird. And again, this was like back in 1990, so I don't know, maybe times have changed? But seriously, where are the other guys? Like, where's the adults? Is this just an orphanage? <laughs> oh god, is an orphanage burning down? That would make sense why there's nothing but kids. That is terrible. Get up here, come on. Saved your ass. Okay, so now we just have one more kid to deal with, and again, the fire's being a bitch. Oh, jump over the flame, and let's just hold on to this axe for some strange reason. I also love how you can just jump over fire, like, fuck that fire. It has no bearing on what I can do. I need to go grab some water fast. Get out of my way, buddy. I also love how you run as fast as the axes. That's kind of an issue. Whatever. Alright, time to put out some water before I get screwed over. Ow. Oh god. Oh god. I don't have an axe for him. Uh, well, that doesn't help me that wa- Oh my lord. This is a terrible location to be at. Wow, look how it respawned me. It spawned me with no time to put out the fire. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose, aren't I? Not good. Okay, well I managed to put out one flame. That doesn't help me at all. Put out the fire, damn it. Put out the fire. Okay, I have a little bit of wee way. That's just not a lot of wee way. Wee way. Alright, there we go. Put out that flame. Man, I was so close to death there, I do not know how I survived. I went to lost my dying sock. I couldn't live. I couldn't eat for a whole week. I don't know how I survived. Oi. Get out of here, fire. You're not welcome here. Alright, those fires definitely seem to give you a big meter boost. So I'm guessing the little fires actually have no bearing on whether or not you win. Maybe. I don't know. I guess I gotta go waste more time putting out more fires before I can rescue the little shit. Oi. Seriously, why are they only sending one firefighter? Aren't we supposed to be a team? Aren't we all in this together once we show what we know that we can fire breathe like a fucking boss? But no, apparently it's a one guy army. Oi, guess they're afraid to lose like more people than one, but then again this is like the super firefighter. Don't you have like any other super firefighters around? You're bound to have at least a couple, right? Oh man, by the time one of these fires goes out another just relights. So dumb quickly run upstairs. Is that a mouse? Oh god, fire out of control. I guess that means I lost. Yep. Game over. Well then. Oh, is I got a high score that's so much shittier than everyone else. This actually looks like high scores. And apparently you can put in a password. How about... Oh, here, here's a good password. 
Uh, wait a where the half the letters? There's B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, so where the fuck did half the letters go? There's no A, there's no E, there's no I, there's no O, and there's no... Yeah, where the fuck are the vowels? Uh, okay. You just got rid of the vowels. I guess so you wouldn't have passwords that are very easy to spell. I don't know. Can't make words without vowels, so maybe that's our understanding of it. Oh boy. So let's see what happens when you die without the fire getting out of control. I'm kind of curious. Alright, so apparently you get like three hits, I'm guessing. Oh no, you get four hits. Cool. That's random. Alright, so we lost one of our, our lives, I suppose. I don't know. Just kind of curious to see what happens when you burn yourself to death. Bam. Also kind of curious what happens when you win the level, but I don't getting that far. There's too much shit you have to look out for. No real way to deal with it at all. Hey, boy. Like, two. Three. And let's see what happens. Oops. Oh, f what the fuck? All firemen lost. Well, that's a little morbid, so apparently it wasn't just one firefighter, it was multiple. All firemen lost. Well, they all lost their lives in that line of duty, and, you know, that's... Firefighting is a terribly difficult job sometimes. Sometimes they'll have you getting killed. It's a job for only the bravest of men, and apparently this man is too fucking weak to go through it. So that was Firefighter on the Game Boy Color, or actually just regular co Game Boy. Kind of color. Is that in color? I don't know. It's probably just in color because of all these... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that makes sense. It's because I had the thing from Pokemon Brown. Yeah, so that's why it's red in the face. So I wonder what the actual colors of everything are. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go for Game Boy Colors. Oh, no, that just makes it like that. Oop. Probably just have to hit, like, the reset Game Boy Color button. Colors. Default. Let's just go for... Standard. Yeah, standard's probably what they're going. Okay, that makes a lot more sense, kind of. Yeah, this is what the original Game Boy had the colors for. It's just that I added the colors, which actually makes it look pretty interesting. Because I'm like, you add the colors, and it actually does look like it's a burning house. Uh, real colors, and then we go for what I had. Default, I'm guessing I had... Huh. What was my standard? Well, I hopefully I didn't fuck that up for Pokemon Brown. Oh well, I'm sure I'll figure it out. See you guys next time. Bye. In short time, your fate will be sealed. Superman.